Workers in Lakeland are now being let go after a defense contractor lost a contract with the U.S. Air Force. ABC Action News reporter Rebecca Petit looks into what's being done to get them new jobs in Lakeland's growing aerospace industry. Draken International helps train the U.S. Air Force for combat using refurbished fighter jets. Fleets of jets um, from allied nations, we bring them here to the U.S., we regenerate them, and then we fly on contracts for the Department of Defense to train the next generation of fighter pilots to be combat ready. But Draken is now closing their facility in Nevada and letting go 100 employees at the Lakeland Linder International Airport location beginning next month after losing a contract with the Air Force. I think it came to a shock not only to us, but also our competitors. She tells me all positions are impacted including avionic and hydraulic technicians and aircraft mechanics. There is a dire and critical need. Uh, it's the, the industry has been, uh, I should say, the, the aircraft maintenance technicians in the industry have been aging like we all do. They've all, a lot of them have taken early retirement. The director of International Aerotech Academy says with the growing aerospace industry in Lakeland, aircraft mechanics won't have a hard time landing back on their feet. Also, it depends on whether or not they have the, the FAA's uh, aircraft maintenance certifications. If they're fresh out of the military and they don't have these licenses, then they're going to have to go to a school probably like this one to get the certification. Aerotech Academy is hosting a recruiting event with a major company next week just for Draken employees. Draken says some workers will be able to transfer to their other locations in Texas and North Carolina. Our HR here internally is working with staffing uh, agencies, um, you know, handing over uh, the employees to help them find work elsewhere. Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.